got the brand new Apple Vision Pro right over here. Here it is, it's pretty crazy. I've decided I'm gonna be wearing this for the next 24 hours. All right, there we go, all wired up, we're in. I'm gonna go off and spend a day with this thing, see what happens. To start out the day, I decided to head over to a local coffee shop to get a quick coffee. I went in wearing the headset and nobody really seemed to notice or care, which is a good thing. I'm blending in already. <laughs> After getting my coffee, I sat down and got to setting things up on the Vision Pro. First, I connected my iPhone hotspot to the Vision Pro so I have internet everywhere. To be fair, a lot of these vloggers and reviewers who are using them, they look like they live in really nice areas, really nice neighborhoods. You know, this coffee shop looks really nice. The area he's walking around looks really nice. So there's an element where I kind of believe him, where you could walk around these kind of like affluent, well-to-do areas and people probably wouldn't turn an eyelid or wouldn't bat an eyelid at you wearing an Apple Vision Pro. But if you're living in the hood or in slums like I live, I think it'd be a bit difficult to kind of navigate around the streets with that massive, shiny, five thousand dollar fucking headset on your head without someone wanting to snatch it do you know what i mean it's gonna be a bit mad so that's the only issue that i'm seeing here but let me continue i started out by checking my instagram and twitter pages see what's going on see what's up and then i headed over to my email inbox to check things off and reply to a few emails and using the vision pro really feels a lot like the ipad in many ways i mean a lot of the apps available on this device are actually just iPad versions of apps. And because of that, using these apps just feels very natural and very familiar. How natural and familiar does that look to you though? Watching somebody sitting next to you on a train or in a coffee shop wearing that headset from the side, it just looks mad, doesn't it? It's a nicely designed piece of tech in terms of product design, you know, aesthetic, you know, presentation or finish, sorry. It does look really well designed, like from the ha the back head strap to the bits on the side here that you basically use to kind of, you know, toggle in the strap and make it tighter to the screen itself. It does look really well designed. I think everyone that I've, so, I've seen so far mention it has basically said it feels really sturdy and stuff. But if ever there was a thing that showed you like you were kind of disconnected from the world around you, this would be it, right? I think these look actually way more leave me the fuck alone than headsets i think nowadays i'm not sure about you guys but wearing noise cancelling headphones back in the day were usually a good sign that people should just leave you alone people don't do that now now no one really leaves you alone so people still ask you questions and make you have to fucking double tap your fucking ear cups to stop so you can answer them but maybe a headset will truly make people leave you alone which will be absolutely fantastic for me now the vision pro has about two hours of battery life which is really not great great especially for a full day of usage i decided to connect this 40,000 milliamp hour fast charge capable battery to the usb-c port on the vision pro and this is obviously not the most ideal solution but it is a solution i despise that i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i'm one of those people that hates people who carry power packs i know there's a lot of people out there that do it but i think carrying a power pack for your phone is peak dork behavior that's peak dork behavior like if you have to have a power pack to exist and you if, if your if your phone runs out of battery you're fucking scared and worried and you're shaking and you have to run back home or search for a coffee shop to plug your phone in to charge it you're a fucking loser like grow up like you shouldn't be on your phone anyway all the time until the battery fucking runs out and goes to zero right unless you're maybe at home if you're out and about you should be able to put your phone at, like especially if your phone's at 20 percent you should just put it in your pocket and just be like, okay, cool. So that's 20%. It's about to fucking run out. Let me just like enjoy my environment. Let me grab a drink. Let me go into the park and I don't know, watch people playing with their dogs or whatever it may be and just relax. You don't need to carry a power bank in order to kind of keep your phone juice so that you can keep liking nonsense videos that you're seeing on Instagram or replying to DMs. It's never that deep. Like carrying a power pack, like, and even this kid, he's carrying an extra power pack to charge his power pack. That's fucking loser behavior. I would never do that. I'll just use my Apple Vision Pro the way it's meant to be used. If the battery runs out, the battery runs out. I go again later. None of that power pack shit. I hate power packs. I spent some more time here just enjoying my coffee, browsing around, really trying out this headset. And eventually I headed out with my coffee. Walking around with this thing on, having maps or music or videos open as I walk, 
is a pretty crazy thing. I headed towards the closest subway station, but before hopping on, I did have to feed my cats for their first meal of the day. So I opened my auto feeders app and sent out their dry food portions. This is a great example of a ported over app for the vision. <laughs> feeding your kid, feeding your cats from an app while you're walking around with a headset on is peak 21st century, isn't it? That's amazing, right? Like having no actual physical contact with your cats, but still manage to feed them by touching these little buttons in the air is absolutely amazing. I fucking love it. Vision Pro and it works actually pretty well but some things can be a little bit hard to press if they are smaller UI elements but overall being able to even do this is actually crazy. I headed down into the subway to make my way over to a grocery store to grab a couple things, grab some groceries and make a small lunch and some stuff I can use throughout the week as well. I definitely got some interesting looks as I made my way onto the subway but i just want to stand and relax and enjoy where does this kid live man the subway is fucking clean very very clean very pristine everyone's there's some ladies here this is this asian lady's kind of or this middle east and i don't know what she is she's giving him some looks this guy's smiling but for the most part people don't give a fuck right people leave you the fuck alone they're minding their business enjoy my trip to the store so I turned on the travel mode before we took off, which you have to turn on every single time you're in a moving vehicle before it starts moving. Whether it's a car, a train, a bus, a plane, whatever, you have to turn this mode on. <laughs> every time I see the side profile of someone wearing it, it just looks so dorky. There's no way you can make this look cool. That's the only thing that's annoying about it. It's got cool features. It looks amazing when you're seeing the things with your eyes, but seeing somebody standing like this with this thing on this contraption on their face and this wire <laughs> it just looks so ridiculous it looks kind of redacted in it it looks kind of redacted you might as well put a helmet on you might as well put a fucking helmet on in the chin strap it looks fucking insane <laughs> it looks like it looks even worse than those kids that you see walking around with actual snowboard goggles on right like ski goggles like for style i remember the that being a thing maybe a few years ago people wearing like you know uh ski boots or snow boots or moon boots even and fucking goggles on their head this is kind of what it kind of looks like it looks absolutely insane on otherwise it just won't work basically if you're moving at a certain speed with this headset on it pretty much just knows and says turn this mode on or you can't use the vision pro and it's kind of annoying but i got used to it after some time on the train, I opened up the mindfulness app for the first time to give it a go and take myself out of the subway and into a guided meditation. And uh, it's pretty cool. Can you imagine trying to do guided meditation wearing a fucking Apple Vision Pro? That's the complete opposite of meditation. The whole entire gizmo, gadget itself, is the complete opposite of like centering yourself and being present and kind of distracting you know cutting out all distractions and concentrating on your breathing and clearing out your mind like this is the and this is the complete opposite of meditation this is this is a, a machine that induces brain clutter it induces adhd <laughs> i love it i love this i love this little thing you added on the vlog this is a really cool review big up this kid after that i hopped out and headed to the grocery store But before heading in, I had to make a quick grocery list in the Reminders app. And typing on the virtual keyboard is actually really solid. I know it's not like the quickest typing experience, but for most things, you just reach out, tap all the letters, and it just works. It feels very natural and incredibly futuristic. Having to stand the way he's standing and type on in the air like that, it looks so redacted. Big up Ricky Pitcher, appreciate you, bro. This is a corporation's wet dream. Now yeah. you can do work everywhere. Exactly. You know Ricky Pritchard. This is going to this is gonna be um this is gonna be the great equalizer when it comes to fucking output, right? When it comes to people's output at work, this is gonna be the one that equalizes everything. Exactly. There is no such thing as a very you can, you know what this is this might end up doing? It might end up doing um it might end up making most companies do like unlimited vacation days. 
hey we give you unlimited vacation days why because we also give you apple vision pros so you can work from anywhere <laughs> anywhere you are you can work you're in the pool you can work steam room you can work <laughs> grenada you can work seychelles you can work <laughs> whenever we call you for a meeting you can be there just strap on your apple vision pro and you can take part in the meeting with all your other colleagues yeah you're right you're definitely right about that one big up ricky picture and into the grocery store i went i carried along the reminders app between my fingers like a grocery list and i dropped it once so i had to go back and pick it up but it was pretty you see that's pretty cool though have you seen that little detail so you know the little screens that you put up when you're using apple vision pro if you pin a screen somewhere it stays there so if you want to use it again you have to go back to where you left it and pick it up it's kind of wild and i also noticed if i don't know if you saw, you don't know if you saw but the, the the screen he had with these notes was on the floor kind of and it it does cast a shadow imagine how crazy that, that is of a detail so whether you leave a pin you can see it casts a shadow on the floor that you left it on or wherever it is on the wall and stuff it's pretty trippy tech wise how they've managed to do that interesting navigating the store grabbing all of my items and it felt like a grocery simulator game this was not only the most stressful grocery experience i've ever had but also the most interesting and unique you gotta be a bit of a donut though you'll be a little bit limp-wristed to be stressful because you're using a fucking vr headset while you're going to do your groceries there's nothing really stressful about doing grocery shopping for one like let's be real you know what i mean you're not buying food for a family you know what i mean like let's relax how's that stressful like these kids nowadays stressful you know because you're having to decide whether you're gonna buy fucking plain white bread rye bread or if you're gonna get the you know the the bad cheese or the vegan cheese like come on man like grow up stressful after grabbing all the items i needed i headed over to the checkout and eventually left the store to go home also i think he's a little bit odd anyway because maybe he wants a picture but who sits like that what grown man would willingly go and sit next to another man so close on the on the train there's all these seats that are free and he goes and sits in that seat <laughs> <laughs> with his knees next to this guy's bum like why would you willingly do that if the train's not full there's all these other seats you can sit down on but maybe he wanted it for the angle and for this 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 shot where where you see him kind of like pinching and he's whatever but it's such a weird way to like you know he willingly went to sit right close to this dude like dude there's all his space all these nice seats why don't you just sit there why are you sitting right close to the guy like it's odd and soon enough I was home. Nice apartment, though. It was time to feed my cats again their wet food, so I got everything ready and prepared for them, and they were very excited. And they didn't really care that I was wearing Vision Pro, but, you know, they were very happy to be fed their wet food for the day. And then after that, I got out my groceries to put in the fridge and to make my quick sandwich. I opened up a YouTube video to watch while I was cooking, pulled out the recipe and set an alarm for the just egg to check back when it's done that's pretty cool this was in theory a very simple sandwich but it felt surprisingly overwhelming to make in spatial reality I honestly what is wrong with this kid he's stressful when he has to pick out some bread to buy at a local supermarket right he's also overwhelmed because he has to make a sandwich it's or is this just like language that kids use nowadays to be like funny I'm stressed because I have to buy groceries. I'm overwhelmed because I don't know what sandwich to make. Overwhelmed because of a sandwich. God almighty, mate. What kind of life do you have where you feel overwhelmed because you have to make a sandwich? I think I just had way too many things open and too much going on because this was incredibly stressful. Oh, damn. there's that fucking word again, stressful. <laughs> stressful. He had to make a fucking egg sandwich with some spinach on it stressful come on brother man but eventually i sat down with it and finally had my first bite to eat for the day it looks like a nice little apartment though to be fair he's got a really nice apartment nice it's a, it looks like a new build to me it kind of looks micro-ish right in terms of size it just looked like you could really like you couldn't swing a cat around here right you couldn't take one of these cats and swing it from side to side wall wise right there's not a lot of space but it does look really nice to be fair so it's a nice nice apartment 
He must live in a really nice area, part of town. And it was worth the effort. And uh, I watched a video while I ate because, you know, you have to. That's quite cool. Come on. That's quite cool. He's sitting down at the table. He's looking out of his window and his, his apartment. And he's got a screen here floating as he eats and a cat sitting on the table. That's a pretty cool, that's a pretty cool, um, you know, little situation he's got himself there. I don't mind that. I'm quite saying what the apartment is usually a few grand a month. Yeah, it looks like it. I would imagine so. It looks like a new build, maybe a concierge downstairs, maybe a gym. You know, they might have a fucking um, communal garden area at the top. They might do like, you know, f end of the month drinks and shit. It looks like a really cool place. Or maybe it's next to like a, a startup area and stuff, right? And those are like tech startup things. So he looks like a type of dude that will maybe work for a place like that. So it's a really nice apartment. I'm not going to lie. For one person, it's really nice. It's kind of small though, because if I'm not mistaken, the kitchen area is connected to the living, living area. He's got his desk area somewhere here. And then I think this room here is where his room is where his bedroom is. And then I think the area back here is where he came in the door. So it's all kind of, it's a kind of a compact micro apartment, but it does look really nice. I'm not going to lie. It's really nicely laid out and they've utilized the space really good as well. So I like it. Our own films. After I was done eating, I grabbed my laptop to get some work done and also test out the screen mirroring onto the Vision Pro. Setup was very easy, just literally tapping a virtual button, and just like that, I had a massive Mac desktop screen in augmented reality. That's pretty cool. Pretty That's crazy. pretty cool. Using the Mac's keyboard and trackpad and the Vision Pro as my screen, I tried out some editing in Final Cut, which felt very natural and honestly just the dream. And Wow, imagine editing on Final Cut Pro. I've seen some, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I have seen some psychos who take their iMac to like coffee shops. Have you guys seen it? Guys who take their iMac, they take their entire iMac to a coffee shop and they'll edit there. Like, so they'll, whatever they're editing in Final Cut Pro or in Photoshop, they'll just sit in the Starbucks with a fucking iMac on the table <laughs> doing it. So I guess this is probably the, the more, the less kind of like intrusive way for people around you. By having the Apple Vision Pro, you can have your massive screen and then you can edit and whatever you need to do, like, you know, in augmented reality without taking up loads of real estate and without having a fucking iMac on the fucking coffee table somewhere in public, which is absolutely insane. And also tried finessing a photo edit in Photoshop. And I really think the Mac... Very good point, Theodore. Nobody who's working at a coffee shop is doing anything besides emails. Yeah, people love to talk about emails. Whenever you hear of a girl boss or one of these hustle bros online talking about what they're doing for the day they love mentioning emails 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 you really you rarely hear them talk about oh we had to ideate a particular idea we're prototyping something we're doing a b testing it's always just emails responding to fucking emails it's like i don't know about you guys but how many actual business emails are you getting per day that needs to be responded to every single fucking day i don't really know but hey i'm an idiot screen mirroring feature is my favorite part of the vision pro i was also able to open up other vision pro apps on the side next to the mac display to make the ultimate multi-monitor virtual workstation which is a lot of words but this is a lot of things happening all at once and when i was finished working i just chilled out on the couch for a bit and watched a few youtube videos in the safari app i really hope the youtube app actually comes to vision pro at some point because watching youtube videos in safari while doable is a little bit cumbersome hitting the play and pause button and skipping forward in videos that's pretty cool though just how the screen looks in augmented reality it looks fucking incredible like having that massive youtube screen just you know essentially um pinned up against his wall of his actual apartment it looks so fucking cool and again like you said once app apple or once sorry once youtube does build a native app for it it's going to be far easier to use like an actual app where you can maybe like you know gesture to fucking fast forward you can maybe pinch to zoom in certain places you can maybe add fame whatever it may be right um it's going to be really really cool and i'd imagine they might maybe start including features where you can maybe utilize some of the tech in the apple vision pro and maybe make videos that are basically built to be watched via an apple vision pro so there's loads of fucking possibilities when it comes to that sort of stuff i'm, I'm loving that i had to head out for the evening to do a few things and also meet up with some friends but before then a few simple chores at home first up had to clean up some dishes so i played some tracks then a quick vacuum around my place yeah nice spot then man taking out the trash and finally, just a quick brush to get minty fresh. 
And after that, I was ready to head out back into the world again. I walked downtown to the Eaton Centre Mall area to do a bit of shopping and browsing. I played some music on the way there and listening to music in this spatial audio form is really incredible. It feels like music is actually playing in your world versus just in your ears. It's really crazy. And when I got to Young and Dundas Square... It but I wonder what you do with the music. How do you do the music? Do you listen to it via headphones or is it just playing aloud via the fucking headset? Because I don't really see heads headphones attached to it. Or maybe it's, or maybe it's um, it's those headphones that you place like around your your earlobes because I forgot what the what the brand is. There's a particular brand that have these headphones where the fucking speakers or the head or the earbuds are somewhere around the back of your ears, and it's somehow meant to play, I guess, music through your eardrums that way. I don't know how that actually gets done, but I'd like to see how do you actually how it actually sounds. You know what I mean? Or if you can actually put a headset on while you're wearing the the fucking vision pro which is peak don't talk to me right wearing noise cancelling headphones and also putting those flipping apple vision pros on is definitely going to change things it just really set in for me how incredible this tech oh is that what it is you think um andrew w says it's toronto is this toronto because it looks so fucking clean it looks so i was just about to say just now it looks so fucking clean wherever he is it looks absolutely spotless the the the, the the subway train he was on earlier, the train station where he's at now in the shopping mall area, it looks absolutely pristine. So I guess, it, yeah, it is, it is Toronto Eaton Centre. There we go on the sign there. It looks fucking spotless. Like, wow, Toronto looks beautiful. Technology is. With a bunch of apps open, I'm in downtown Toronto and it felt like nothing I've ever experienced before. It is just, I've already said it before, but it's the future. Although walking around with the Vision Pro on in such a busy part of the city was very stressful mm. and again with the stressful this kid man it's stressful to buy fucking groceries he feels overwhelmed making a sandwich and now he's stressful again because he's walking around a busy shopping area just seeing other people walk in front of him is causing him stress bro you're you're in the you're in the busy shopping district of your city what do you expect like, come on, man. Stress. These kids, bro, they don't know stress. Quite overwhelming. I walked through the mall and made a bunch of stops on the way, eventually stopping to check a virtual map of the Eaton Center to see where I have to go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow. <clears throat> Of course he stopped by the Aesop shop. Of course he stopped by the Aesop shop to get some, you know, some moisturizer or hand sanitizer. Of course he stopped by the Apple store. Like he's going to all the bait places that a kid like Hid would actually go to in a shopping center. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Aesop, of course. After some browsing, I got what I needed. Of course he went to Uniqlo. Of course he went to Uniqlo. Of course. Uniqlo, Aesop, Apple. There's a particular archetype of that person, right? A particular avatar, a particular brand of human being. ...clothing pieces and headed back outside. Imagine describing Uniqlo clothes as clothing pieces. <laughs> you went to Uniqlo, bro. It's like fucking Japanese H&M. It's not that deep. Clothing pieces. It's Uniqlo. <laughs> I then got a call from my friend Patrick, and this was my first ever FaceTime video call in Vision Pro. Wow. And uh, my persona is pretty interesting. Patrick and I chatted for a bit and made some dinner plans for tonight. And then it was time to head over for dinner. Making plans with the bro and giggling like that and calling him Patrick? Hmm. I hopped on the streetcar, got some really interesting looks, and soon enough, I was there. The Mandarin is a buffet restaurant that really is the ultimate melting pot of cultures and cuisines and it really is Canada in a restaurant. It's incredible. I've been going to the Mandarin various locations since I was like 10 years old and to be here today I was very happy. Oof, to be fair the, the the Chinese buffets we have in my area don't look like this. This looks fucking good. This looks like a really good version of a buffet because the Chinese buffets in my area of London do not look like this. <laughs> wow. That's plate number one. 
I met up with Patrick and we got our plates for the night and this might be the first ever buffet dinner experience while- <laughs> How depressing is that vision of the future? Sitting down with your bro to, you know, over some food to power about the week and you're sat there both wearing your Apple Vision Pro headsets. How bleak is that? Usually when you meet up with somebody for dinner, it's a time for you to have actual real face-to-face -face quality time. Catch up on some stuff, right? Fill each other in on what's been going on in your life, especially if you haven't seen each other for a while. Imagine sitting there at a table with your headsets on. It's already annoying when you have friends. I have friends like that. They always have their phone on the, on the dinner table. Sometimes they'll have it flipped over so they can't see the screen. But just the phone being there kind of creates a bit of distance, right? It's a bit of a block. That's why sometimes, you know, I, I don't say it because it's not my business, but I would love to be that person's like, hey, man, put your phone in your pocket so we can just like talk. But usually, you know, you can't talk. say that everyone's got their own thing. But usually people just can't even have their phone in their pocket and just sit down and have dinner with you and catch up and stuff and actually have a conversation so imagine how much harder it will be to have connections with your friends and um, when they just got this fucking screen on the whole entire time like damn bro like i thought we we're meant to meet up and you know powwow and chop it up about the week and stuff right and talk about our concerns and our hopes and dreams and shit nah let's just sit down at a chinese buffet with our headsets on and then talk that way it's like ugh, i don't like that at all i don't like it that's only bit i don't a bit there's only a bit of it i don't like wearing vision pro and also maybe the first group dinner in vision pro is that a group though is that technically a group is that a group when you're in or is that a duo does it count if you're just two people do you call that a group it's like calling people that have dogs but no kids a family it's like is that really a family though because you have a wife and a dog surely a family is a human child same with this. Is isn't isn't a group of people more than three or more than two? It can't be two people. That's a duo, no? But again, what do I know? Maybe. After another great dinner, my final stop of the night was a little bowling excursion. I headed to my favorite bowling spot and met up with my friend Liam to tear up those lanes. Uh, but first, I had to look up some cheat codes because I'm really not so great at bowling. Of course he can't bowl. The kid can't... Of course this kid doesn't know how to bowl. So let alone play any other sport. You know, bowling maybe isn't a sport, but of course he can't even bowl. Of course he can't bowl. The kid that gets stressed out making sandwiches doesn't know how to roll a ball down the fucking lane. Like, of course. So many gutter balls. So many fucking gutter balls. It doesn't improve your gameplay at all. But eventually after tossing on some tracks and getting getting in the zone, I was doing pretty well. And it was getting pretty late, so I decided to finally head home. Even the lock of his house sounds expensive, isn't it, right? Even the look of his apartment sounds expensive. He's got one of those, you know, that's a good door. That's a strong door. That's the kind of door even police will struggle to break down. That's a good, that's a, that's a good couple of grand's worth of an apartment a month if he's paying rent, right? Like even the lock of it sounds quality. Because <laughs> I know how my lock sounds. It doesn't sound like that. My door, if you just lean on it a bit, you know what I mean? It could probably crack open. After getting home, I plugged in a super long, like 20 foot USB-C cable into the Vision Pro's battery pack and got in bed. I decided to- Imagine what the porn's gonna look like on this thing. Can you imagine what porn will look like on this? Can you imagine after a hard day's work, sitting back and watching some fucking X-rated stuff on flipping Pornhub X videos or whatever you like to watch out there? Imagine what it will look like when Pornhub decided to build native videos with the Apple Vision Pro in mind. When you start, you know, when you maybe take it further and start doing the fucking deep fake shit. When you take it even further and you start getting peripherals, right? You start getting like accessories, like Glock lock machines that you use at home and stuff. Imagine how spooky it's going to get. Imagine how spooky it's going to get when those people that have like goon rooms start getting a hold of this. 
Those guys that have goon rooms, imagine if they get a hold of this. No more having to have physical screens. No more crazy LEDs that make them look like they're in some sort of BDSM room. You can run a goon room entirely through your fucking headset. Oh, it's going to get spooky. It's going to get spooky. You're going to get people like sharing videos of them, you know, smashing a deep fake version of fucking, you know, Jessica Alba or something. Imagine how spooky that will get. They'll record videos of themselves smashing a fucking, you know, AR version, deep fake of fucking Jessica Alba <laughs> and post that somewhere, right? Like, imagine that. That's like a whole new version of fucking revenge porn. It's not even revenge porn because you don't know the person. Imagine, right? Like, Ruby Rose will start needing to maybe start suing Apple and stuff because all these fucking 15 year old kids are posting videos of themselves, you know, smashing her in all these different lo fucking exotic locations. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine all these sweaty 15-year-olds having fucking sessions with Ruby Rose through VR, through AR? Like, <laughs> posting pictures of themselves, like, choking and slapping her and shit. <laughs> it could get dark, bro. It could get so dark. Holy shit, man. Maybe maybe even people like Chris D'Elia will just run a whole simulation where he's got that Wednesday Adams girl, you know, whatever her name is. I forgot her name. Um, You know, in AR and VR. You know what I mean? Imagine all the diddlers out there. I'll watch a movie and test out how that experience looks on the Vision Pro screen. And although I can't actually show it on YouTube, it looked incredible. Especially being able to change the background of my environment and putting myself even in a movie theater to watch my movie is really crazy. Down to choosing the exact seating position and row. And after the movie was done, I was pretty tired, so time to sleep. <laughs> Ra, he slept with them on. He actually slept with them on. He's dedicated. I like this. I like the dedication. The next morning, I woke up to my alarm and hopped out of bed. I fed the cats and then made a quick coffee while listening to some music. I had to catch up on my social apps to see what I missed out on overnight. And then for breakfast, I wanted to make a nice tropical fruit protein smoothie with these frozen fruits, as well as silken tofu and protein powder, of course. Why does why does he drink protein shakes when he doesn't work out? What's the point of that? Is that like a thing kids are doing nowadays? Just to kind of circumnavigate having to work out. Like, I don't want to work out, so I'm just going to drink a protein shake. <laughs> these kids are so funny man like just refuse to do any sort of physical exertion apart from walking to coffee shops that is their workouts isn't it they're the masters of walking to coffee shops finding independent coffee shops to go drink fucking ten dollar espressos but refusing to do a single push-up but then also drinking fucking um you know also drinking um protein shakes you gotta love it right you gotta love it and i've really been loving smoothies recently ever since buying this blender and it's really a great way to start out the day. I sat down with my drink and listened to some tracks while browsing Twitter. I then decided to watch some YouTube videos from the last few days to catch up, but maybe in a bit more of a beautiful atmosphere. This entire experience has really been- Nigga just sits down and watches videos about the iPhone 15 Pro Max. <laughs> He's definitely a real geek in it. I love it, man. I love it. Unlike any other experience, I've ever had before and just like that a whole 24 hours in Apple Vision Pro had passed what time is it? so that was 24 hours wearing the new Apple Vision Pro and I have so many thoughts about this this was one of the most insane tech experiences I've ever had now, I know, this is a product you're probably supposed to be using only at home, maybe if you're flying somewhere on like a long road trip perhaps, but I want to take it to the extreme and actually use it outside in the world. It really felt like the future. Mm. I mean, things like grocery shopping, which is a very mundane, boring task, became fun, exciting, and a lot more engaging. And no, don't you dare say that. You said it was stressful. Remember, you said it was stressful. You said buying groceries with the headset on was stressful because you had to pick up bread and it felt like you were in a game like don't don't fucking retcon it now don't change your fucking stance you said buying groceries was stressful <laughs> i remembered and just being able to be able to place windows wherever you want them in your world and they just kind of stay there and they don't move at all is just 
It's crazy. I've never experienced technology like this. I definitely was getting a lot of looks wearing this outside in the mall, on the streetcar, on the subway, uh, but nobody really cared that much. I feel like living in a big city wearing something like this, there's uh, you know far worse things to, to be worried about and there's you know a lot more to be concerned about. Now actually wearing this thing, walking around, traveling with it, I was expecting to feel really nauseous and sick and I've had bad experiences with other kind of augmented reality VR headsets before, so I was a little bit worried, but mostly with this, even wearing it a full day, I uh, wasn't really bothered too much. It so everybody that's been saying that it's been really heavy have been pussies. I've read so many and watched so many reviews of people online saying, it's really heavy to wear all day and I can only wear it a couple of hours. Like, bro, how weak is your neck? How weak is your fucking neck that you can't put on a pair of goggles? for more than an hour that's what everyone's been saying like they have to add the extra strap on or that there's like an extra like helmet type of strap that alleviates some of the weight and maybe kind of you know um spreads the weight to the back a little bit but this kid is saying it's perfectly fine some people are saying it's too heavy it's too heavy it's like bro come on man stiffen your neck up bro get on your knees a little bit and make your neck a bit stronger it's also not that heavy of a headset i really didn't even notice the weight wearing it all day but yeah it is something that you probably don't want to wear all day anyways so that's pretty much it 24 hours in apple vision pro stay tuned more content is on the way with this headset be sure to subscribe if you so i like it man i like his review i think that was a good way to kind of see how it kind of works or looks in I IRL, right? In someone you doing their everyday chores, right? Going to the coffee shop, doing their groceries, meeting their friends, going for dinner. The only thing you didn't see is him going to a bar and having a drink somewhere, wearing it, which would be odd. Um, I remember when I used to, um, or when I first started, sorry, going to bars and taking my book with me um, and going to, you know, going to have a fucking cocktail and reading my book, I would always get weird looks. And then, of course, over time, it became like a thing now. People start doing, especially post-pandemic, I feel like people are now going outdoors more on their own and just, you know, whatever people are maybe getting older. I don't know what it is, but it definitely has a change. But I definitely noticed at the beginning when I used to do it, I used to get looked at a bit weird. Um, but for having my book and sitting down having a cocktail, I wonder what people would look, what how people would react if you went to a cocktail bar and you just had your headset on and you were listening to an audio book or something or you were browsing the internet like everyone else does. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like bars and pubs are sometimes places where you feel like a bit of a loser or you feel like a bit of a loner or you feel like you're just um signaling to everybody around you that you're bored when you pull out your phone i don't know if this is me and it's my own insecurity but whenever i'm at a bar and i pull out my phone especially for a long time it almost feels as if like you've got nothing going on yeah you know i mean like you're that scared of your environment um you feel so um you know awkward around the, the space that you're in that you're kind of pulling out your phone as like a comfort because you know you know you kind of are familiar with that but you're not familiar with being in the real life space so i wonder if this will be different i'm just wondering with that but i would love to um you know i would love to use it i'm not gonna lie especially to record things and just live with it day to day um i'm interested to see what the second iteration is going to be like similar to the airpod maxes um i really wanted a pair of airpod maxes the apple versions of their you know um over the ear um noise cancelling headphones but i feel like the current design is a bit too clunky looking it's a little bit too cumbersome a little bit too big and bulky so i can't wait until the mark ii of the um airpod maxes come out because i feel like they're going to be a little bit more sleeker and they're going to maybe change some things maybe make them a bit more foldable and not have that horrible bag and i think the same thing's going to happen with the apple vision pro i think the second iteration the apple vision pro mark ii is going to be amazing it's going to be really fucking cool it's probably it probably end up being thinner than what we're seeing the design's probably going to change they're going to update some features they're going to get loads of info and insights from people who've been using the apple vision pro now but i'm all really really looking forward to seeing what the fucking second iteration of this thing looks like because i think it's going to look sensational and um yeah this is the beginning of the change
this is going to be the change and it's never going to go backwards. I think the same with AI, how we've seen how AI has basically changed people's lives for the better and for the worse. I feel like spatial computing is going to be here to stay, especially since Apple's invested so much into it, especially given the novelty, because I think MKBHD mentioned it the other day. Um, there hasn't really been anything new in the tech space for a while, right? All the smartphones look the same. Um, TV screens and monitors and whatever have kind of maxed out. Um, cameras are kind of where they're at in terms of full and what they can do but in terms of everything else in terms of computing in terms of laptops and um, desktop computers and shit and whatever nothing's really gone anywhere and especially with vr headsets they've all kind of been a little bit clunky nothing's really kind of hit out of the park um there's not been an all-in-one unit that everyone kind of like swears by and i feel like the apple vision pro is the closest thing to it and like i said it's the it's the only thing that's kind of interesting now in tech um all the smartphones are the same right everyone's copied the iphone sort of like rectangular design but at least now we've got a different type of headset a different type of design a different type of experience and i think it's going to change things for the better and of course for the worse but um i think we're already in a bad place anyway because people are generally on their phones way too much people care way too much about fucking comments and likes and metrics and engagements and shit people will overuse filters so we're already living in a fake quasi digital weird you know dystopian world as it is so at least with the apple vision pro you get a you get a you get an option to kind of you get the option to make the world as you see it like as you want it to be seen like basically you get to beautify the world and kind of live to kind of live through it in a different way kind of thing if you get what i mean so i'm all for it man i'm all for it i can't wait to see how it develops i can't wait to see the different iterations and i also can't wait to see how other people use it further down the line i think it's going to be absolutely incredible i'm really for it i'm, I'm not gonna lie i am honestly honestly on it um what's what people saying in the chat um ricky pitcher saying too much computing necessary to keep this going now i think it's gonna i think i think they're gonna figure out ways to make it smaller and smaller thinner um smaller chips more battery life they're gonna they're gonna figure out a way to get the computing computing there will be, there'll be no such thing as too much my friend no such thing um it's gonna make them bank and it's gonna you know go to the moon as uh, you know for lack of a better term um cloud k20 says i think it has the uses but a lot of the ways that they promote it is silly a proper advancement would require more processing power yeah for sure like i said like um ricky pitcher mentioned i think there's going to be way more advances going on in the future um uche they'll probably have an eyeglass version in a few years eh? exactly you remember how clunky and how awful the the original google glasses look do you remember the, the original google glasses let me see if i can get up here the original google lens they were fucking horrendous right really really like horrible looking and now you've got snapchat glasses that look like ray-bans do you remember like look do you remember this that was the original google glass right or lens thing that they made back in the day with this kind of this thin sort of like y2k era looking lens thing with this massive camera unit bulky thing on the side right it just looked a bit too big right you look like a fucking knock wearing these type of things and now you have these snapchat ray-bans that just look like regular ray-bans you can't even tell that they have fucking got a camera on them do you know what I mean? So clearly things are advancing and evolving at a breakneck speed to the point where they sell these fucking Snapchat glasses, these goggles or whatever, right? I, I forgot the actual term. I think no, they're actually called smart glasses, sorry. And you literally cannot tell that they have a camera, you know? You cannot tell. Look at it. Look how much sleeker it looks. Like the one at the bottom here, I guess, is the older version or another brand. And the one on the top here is a Snapchat version. And just on the rivets, on the corners there where you'd usually have that little brand marking with a little silver thing that's where the cameras are so just imagine in a few years time what the apple vision pro end up looking like with these advancements that you're seeing in these other glasses it's going to look absolutely incredible it really is going to look incredible so i can't wait to see how it evolves i really cannot wait to see how it ends up evolving 